And there is a lot of attention on Tesla's safety record. Many medias, including the ones in China, have been scrutinized every essence of Tesla since day one, especially the fatal ones. The intensity has gotten very high in China since the Made in China Model Y launch. So they try to leave people an impression that Tesla is not safe. In this video, we studied numbers of the mortality rate of Tesla cars in China and US. And the study shows that the Tesla cars are very safe. First, we study the accidents in China. It's hard to define the severe level of the accidents and it's impossible to count total accidents. So we study the traffic mortality rate cases. We can easily find some data on from uh, Google um, Wikipedia as shown in the table. For 100,000 vehicles in one year, there is about 104.5 at the deaths in China in 2016. In US, the number is much smaller, it's only 14.2. The source of the data is WHO, the World Health Organization. I shared the data with some friends. They pointed out some issues. The data was published by the WHO, which may not have the first-hand information from China and it was 2016 data, a little bit old. And overall, it seemed to be on the high side. So here we consider it a, as an external reference. So I spent some more, more time to search better data and found the second approach. China Health Statistics Yearbook 2019. And this was published by, Chinese, by a committee from China central government. It, state, it stated that the traffic accidents mortality rate was 13.5 for 100,000 population in 2018. The number is based on the death reasons on the death certificates issued by the hospitals. So it is considered highly credible. Based on the one, roughly 1 1.4 billion population in 2018, the death number was uh, 180 9,000, roughly that number. And based on the total registered vehicle in 2018, 327 million, we can get a accidents death rate of 2018, which is a 57.8 deaths per 100,000 vehicles per year. And that is smaller than the WHO's data, which is 104.5 in 2016. The next question is the number of Tesla cars in China. The sales number of Tesla cars are listed in the table here. So we can get accumulative numbers. We're lucky now to have you know, the first four months sales data of this year. So this is accumulative data. So for a given period, for example, 2020, the average Tesla cars on the road is 135,000. This is a derived from the average of these two numbers, which is the year beginning and the year end numbers. Similarly, we can get a average cars on road of Tesla for the first four months of 2021 by averaging these two numbers. So that's a 245,000. Now let's do some simple projection work. We use the lower number from approach two, 57.8 deaths for 100,000 vehicles per year and we know for 2020, the whole year, a group of 135,000 normal cars in China, the traffic death would be about 78. This is uh, derived by the 57.8 uh, 57 multiplied by 1.35 because the unit is 100,000 vehicle. So for the first four months of this year, similarly, we can get a number which is 47. This is for average normal cars in China. So the total number is 125 deaths. Disclaimer, behind these numbers, we have full respect to the people who passed away, unfortunately, in this essence, regardless of the brand of vehicles involved. We wish those essence could be avoided, and auto, in auto, auto industry should keep exploring new technology to reduce the essence and save lives. And we shall also clarify which company is doing a better job and give them proper credits. So let's find out how many 
test fatal accidents in last 16 months since 2020. The test accidents are hot topic in China media. Each accident, especially the fatal one, has been thoroughly reported. According to the website called tesladeaths.com, this is actually a Tesla Q website, and there were six deaths in five fetal accidents since 2020. So I list all of them in the table. This is the date, country, city in China, courses, and the, the death numbers in each accident, and whether it's at fault or not. I crossed out one because this one has wrong time. It should be the same date, January 20th of 2016. So there are only three deaths in two essence, this one and this one. During the time, the time window we studied, January 1st of 2020 to April 30th of 2021. So for 135,000 cars for one year, 2020, and for 235,000 cars in four months, January to April of this year, for average cars in China, the projected fatality is 125. The actual Tesla car fatality was three. So three over 125, that's 2.4%. Again, we have full respect to the people who lost their lives in the unfortunate car accidents. And this is only a study use the numbers to show who is doing better job and give them proper credit. There are some other factors. So Tesla cars are generally new, so you should have less essence. So we don't have a detailed data to support this further study. But China has a rigorous vehicle inspection requirement, so the low safety standard and less environmental friendly cars will be forced to abandon. Uh, so new vehicles likely serve the primary vehicles and have higher daily usage and more accidents exposure to the average registered, registered vehicles. So overall, we think the older car may involve more accidents, but it's not dramatically more. Another one is a uh, comment from friends is uh, the Tesla cars are more expensive. So luxury cars should have less accidents and less fatality. And this is generally true. We don't have data to support further study on this one. But we have to respect the fact that less is less, safe is safe. So use your own judgment on the result. 3 versus, versus 125 or 2.4% or 42 times safer. Let's switch gear to US. With very similar approach, we have sales data based in the table up to 1Q of 2021. So the cumulative data is here. This data could be uh, slightly, the actual data could be slightly higher because we ignore the cars made before 2014. So with similar approach, the average of these two numbers will be the average Tesla cars on the road in 2020, which is uh, 641,000. And for 1Q, the average number of these two is 792,000. The source of the data is from this website, carsalespace.com. So I list all the source uh, in here, in the bottom of the slides, and I will summarize all of them in the video description section. You can follow up easily. Based on TeslaDeaths.com, the Tesla Q website, there were 10 deaths in seven accidents in one queue of 2021. So we list them all, list them in the table. For the at fault case, there's 6.5. 0.5 coming from this essence is head-on collision. We don't, we don't know which one is at fault, so we gave them 0.5. So as a summary, in 1Q of 2021, Tesla fatality in US is 10, and 6.5 at fault. For 2020 full year, the table is, is longer. Tesla fatality in US is 24, 15.5 at fault. Let's see the projected fatality versus actual in US. Based on the NPR website, there were 42,060 people died in the car accidents in US in 2020. And the total registered, registered vehicles in US was 286.9 million in US in 2020. Based on these two number, numbers, we can see that for a group of 641,000 cars, 
That's the, that is the average number of Tesla cars on road in 2020. If there are no more cars, the projected fatality is 94 for the year. The actual 2020 Tesla fatality is 24, and 15.5 of them were at fault. For a group of 792,000 cars, the projected fatality is 29 for the quarter. This number is smaller than this number because it's quarterly data. The actual Tesla 1Q fatality is 10, and 6.5 of them were at fault. So here, uh, depend on what you think, my reading is that we should use at fault data because this will avoid double counting. For the estimates, Tesla are not at fault. The car is just like a background. So, but I will leave that uh, judgment to you. And Tesla has 28% of the projected fatality, industry, industrial average performance, if we use a total death number. And the, that, that number shrink to 18% if we use at fault number. The one more thing worth to mention is that US has 231.6 million licensed uh, drivers uh, based on this information. And uh, for the registered vehicles, they have uh, we have 286.9 registered vehicles. Therefore, this number is much bigger than this number. So that not all registered vehicles are daily active. And actually not all drivers are daily active. And Tesla cars may have a bigger exposure because it's likely to be the primary vehicles and serve for more or higher usage. Here's the summary. Statistically, estimates are part of a driving experience, like it or not. And Tesla only has 2.4% of a projected industry average traffic death during January 2020 to April 2021 in China. That's an excellent safety record. And Tesla has 18 or 28 of projected industry average traffic deaths during the January of 2020 to 1Q of this year in US. That's also a pretty good job. With fast growing number of cars on the road, there will be more accidents associated with Tesla. So don't be misled, don't be misled by the FUD medias. Trust the numbers and the statistics. The last but not least, safe driving. Thank you for watching and welcome to subscribe.